God dang, call me Mr. Clean because I'm sleeping these streets. Getting a little warm. Mike, ready? Yeah, Jim, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the talking baklava who enjoys balaclavas. Listen, I know you're on the toilet. I know you're watching this, eating your coffee, consuming your beer. Maybe you're on the toilet, maybe you're in bed, maybe you're eating some food, which is the highest honor that you could give a YouTuber is eating food while watching their videos. Today we're going over the striker. It has multiple different names, but this variation is often known as the striker. But before we dive in, Joel, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I love reading your comments. I actually do. I read your comments a lot and I enjoy them. I read them when I'm on the toilet, when I'm laying down in bed. You get the idea. Also, we have to thank our sponsors. Gentlemen, this video is going to be sponsored by the Sonoran Desert Institute. If you want to take your firearms learning to the next level, then SDI is going to be the place for you. Get training and becoming an accredited gunsmith and help out big chimps such as myself with working on cool firearms. The Lord knows I need all the help I can get. So head on over to SDI. See if they can uh, straighten you out. So far, definitely not impressed by this early version of the street sweeper there is multiple different variations and they did get better as they went but this gun has a little soft spot because you know i'm all like a enjoyer of the blood diamond rhodesian history and this was developed in rhodesia or zimbabwe but we say rhodesia here oh do we now do we and then they got better as they went on later in south africa i tried to find some good reference photos I couldn't find it, but the only one I could think of was the uh, old man with one of these and he had an Uzi attached to the bottom. It was mega, mega boost. My fear is like, while I'm unloading it, I'm gonna send a round through it. <laughs> I could see the hiccups involved. I could see it having a not huge appeal. And I could definitely see it being one of those guns where it's like, hey, you better be carrying a sidearm with you if you had to use this in a, a very real life, practical, tactical situation. So very cool and very like, it's unique because technically this was also in that classification of like NFA no-no. So yet again, this goes back to that era in the 90s where this got classified as a destructive device. Well, yeah, it does some shooting. It's not as effective as you would think. It's actually kind of like underwhelming, but it was still very fun to shoot and show off here real quick. Thanks to my buddy, uh, Sam over at Barking Spider Tackle. Sam, come here. What do you want to tell my audience? This gun isn't Ow. worth the tax stamp it's uh, transfers on. That's depressing. So just a real quick rundown of it. So there's plenty of our YouTubers that have videos on the street sweepers. There's multiple different variations. The, the later variants did get a lot better with the self ejection of that shotgun round. Um, this one you had to do, it's like some wild west shit, man. You got that ejector right there for you. I didn't even bother getting a chin weld on this because the wire stock and 12 gauge does not go together well. So you got your functioning safety right here. Boop. Boop. Here's your safety. Safety is on, safety is off. It's got a weird double action trigger. So we'll go to trigger together real quick. And that's it firing. And then it should, so we'll, we'll put some spring tension on it. So spring tension. So you, you fire and then it rotates the cylinder. So if you can see that, fires, rotates, fires, rotates. So you can see that. Really fun little slim barrel. And then you got your winder up front for manipulation of the cylinder when you need. Collapsible stock definitely gives it that striker OG look. So very, you know, it's very fun to show off. Of course, it's not like a gun review where I'm going to be dumping tens of thousands of rounds and being like, hey, is this a good gun that you should buy or not? It's not, one, it's not one of those. It's one of those like, hey, got a cool opportunity to show off a gun that I personally am interested in. And it's a good chance to show it off real quick, do a little bit of shooting, a little bit of scooting, and a showing it off in a little bit of a different light. That's essentially it, guys. A really fun, hard, fast video and a quick look at the striker. So, so big thank you to Sam for coming out and taking the time out of his day to come and give me a cool guest appearance on this. Uh, very fun, different firearm. Of course, it's a connection to South Africa. Also has me interested with that sort of stuff because, uh, it's, you know, again, again, going back to some Blood Diamond stuff, I'm, it's all within that genre is what it is. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm God, a God of which who enjoys weird cylinder shotguns. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon is an excellent to support the channel as well as merchandise. Everything helps out the channel greatly. We have a Discord on Patreon. They get to see videos early. I do merchandise giveaway, stuff like that. It really helps out. As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. I'll catch you on the flip.